Today, Sad and I are so excited to prepare this beautiful fish. It's a red drum that was freshly caught yesterday. And I want you to look at the eye. When the eye is nice and clear and not cloudy, it's a sign of a good fresh fish. But we are going to make it in a very special way. Crosta di sale inside the crust of uh, salt. So as you can see, the inside has been well cleaned out and gutted. Then we washed the fish, dried it really well, both inside and out. And then one important thing, the scales are left on and the scales are almost like a shield. So when the salt is on top and it's cooking and it doesn't over salt the meat. Now there is a secret. We're gonna get these eggs and just use the egg white. Let me see if this is a double yolk or nope. So we're gonna put the egg whites here and the egg yolks in there. Let me see, there's just a little piece of a shell. There we go. And we're gonna get another one as well. And again, divide the egg yolks from the egg whites. We're just gonna do them a little bit. Not until we have 50 eggs, but just break the egg white up. And this will be mixed into the salt and it's almost gonna serve as a glue so that the salt will really stick on the fish and not roll off. You see, it's still nice and loose. There are no stiff peaks, but we're gonna put this right over our salt and then mix it all up. Some will even put a teaspoon of vinegar in there and the vinegar will also help with the moisture but will not keep the salt really wet because it will evaporate quicker than just water. Now we're going to get a lemon and I'm going to put a bit of lemon zest into the salt, making sure that we don't use the pith. And this is going to flavor the salt just a little bit with this nice citrus flavor there. Into this, we'll also put just a few of these little teeny thyme leaves, and it's a lemon thyme that we're gonna be using. And we'll place this in here as well. We're gonna mix all this in, and then set it aside. We're gonna get just one clove of garlic out. There we go. Let's see, maybe we can get a little bit of a bigger one. This one is good, just like so. We don't want to overpower it because we really want to appreciate the flavor of the fish. So we really don't need much at all. I might actually even just use half of that. That should be plenty. We have a beautiful uh, bay leaf bush actually it's almost a tree now so we're going to get a bay leaf we're going to get just a bit of parsley and a small sprig of rosemary and this will go into the belly of the fish again this would be perfectly good without anything else put put inside the belly of the fish but we're just going to cut a few thin slices of lemon and place the, these in as well. Now begins the fun part. We're gonna make a bed of salt. Actually, we probably need to set it kind of on the side. The fish is quite big. And lay that right on there. And this is where the fish will go. Probably a good centimeter thick. Now for the best part, we're gonna get to put the fish right on this bed and then we're gonna fill it with the sprig of rosemary, some parsley, just a few little pieces of garlic, that may be enough. Then we're gonna put this bay leaf in there. I'll just put it in a hole. And then inside the cavity of the fish 
few slices of lemon. Now we're gonna make sure that the cavity is closed like this. And now we're gonna be able to get the salt and begin to cover up the fish completely. So it's almost gonna be like an oven in an oven. So we're just gonna continue doing this until our fish is nicely covered up. All the way to the head and that needs to be well covered up as well. By pulling the parchment paper up towards the fish, you can kind of press it against the fish, just like so, the same thing on this side. Now, some would uncover the eye of the fish so that they can kind of gauge as to whether the fish is done or not. If the eye of the fish turns completely white, then you know the fish is done. This guy is ready to go into the oven. Before placing anything in the oven, one always has to make sure to check the temperature of the oven floor. As you can see back there, we've had a small fire going, but for the fish, this is still a bit too hot. It actually started raining, but we're gonna be able to finally place the fish inside. I'm doing it carefully so that the salt doesn't crack. We'll place it in and we'll keep watching the fire because it still is going to need to have a small fire going and we will close the door and allow the oven to do its magic. Our fish is ready to come out. We just have a small small fire to keep the temperature going on the left and you can notice that the crust on top is nicely dried out and here we go wow look at this and yes it is nice and hard almost like a cast check out this beauty listen to that it's as hard as can be so now we're going to use this almost as a hammer i'm going to go all the way down comes comes off very easily and our fish is perfectly done let's break it just a bit more look at that let's peek at the eye over here let's see if it comes off yes is nice and white. And now here from the sides again, I'm going to try to break it. And we will continue to do this until all the salt is off. With the help of this fork, I'm going to release the fish from the salt even below. And I think we're gonna be able to just simply lift it up and place it on our platter. First of all, we're gonna remove the tail. So with the spoon, I'm gonna press down really hard right here, get under the tail and break it off. Let's see. There, we can set this aside. Now that the tail is removed, we're gonna get this off right here. Let me see, right there. We're going to pull all that off. Not only are we getting the bones, the little bones from right up here, but we're also opening up the fish so we can remove the skin. All this is removed. Now we do the same thing right here as well. Let's see. And once again, we can open it up. All of this is coming off. Now, 
part of our tail broke off a little bit, but I'm going to remove that. And you will see that right underneath is this incredibly moist, moist fish. And we can almost unclothe it like this. Look at there. And underneath, beautiful fillets are revealed that are incredibly moist. And this comes off. The skin is removed and we can set it over here. Before we can remove the filet, we have to take these little bones out and make sure those are set aside. Here is one filet and on the other side is another filet. So we're gonna divide it up just like so and right below the top filet lays the backbone of the fish. So we're gonna free it in order to pick it up. So now we're gonna lift the filet off the bone right underneath here. And then we will be able to remove it from the bone and lay it on our platter right on top of the arugula. So let's see now if I can place the spatula on here and transfer our filet right on top of the spatula without the bones and we're going to be able to put it right on top of our platter let's see at least part of it all right and here we go one filet comes off we're going to place it there nicely we can get the other part as well. I should be using the spoon instead of the fork. The fork is supposed to be kind of your helper and the spoon instead is supposed to be the hand that works. And there we go. One fillet is done. Now check the backbone of the fish. Do you see it goes all the way down? Look at these very fierce bones here. That's something definitely you would not want to chew on or swallow. Now we can go to our second filet and we're simply going to release it from the bone as well. So now we're going to release the bones. We're going to take our herbs and the lemon that we put in there out. There's a dark line right here where you can separate the filets in the bottom. Did you know that even the cheek of the fish has an amazing filet? You see this part right here? Right there. Oh, is that delicious. And now we cut a few slices of lemon. We'll place one here as well. We top everything off with a nice drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And here we have an amazing platter of a delicious fresh fish. Can't wait to serve it to everybody and I'm gonna wish you un buon appetito.